So yeah, hello everyone. This is Gregor. Welcome to the stream. And mm, my camera is misaligned once again. Uh, yeah, we'll be doing more Parasite Eve today. Uh, probably close to like halfway through the game, maybe a bit more. Kind of like depends. I I really want to get this done because there's another four games on in a row. Although I I, I <clears throat> increasingly get the the feeling that I'm not gonna be able to finish all of them. Also, hold on. Uh, wait, digital mode? Really? Okay, let's go like this. Hmm. I should be okay. Um, but yeah, like last time I kind of left it off at... Um, well, I want to say it's probably like the, the, the end of uh, like the third day, third chapter, third whatever. So yeah, we'll be playing Parasite Steve. <laughs> also, I kind of need to do something here for a moment because... Um, there's like this weird thing that uh, my capture card does that when you... Um, it's hard to explain, but like when you when you load like a PS3 game and then it kind of kills the XMB to go into PS1 or PS2 mode. Um, the like the audio gets like all choppy and stuff, and I have to re reset the the input somehow. So I'll just like loud, just like lower it a little bit. Um, but yeah, you actually have to reload the the, the input because it, like the, the sound gets like all like cracking and like choppy and stuff. And I think it's because it changes like output methods. Like I'm not like a hundred percent sure on this, but that, that's kind of like what it feels like to me. Uh, and. In, in the interest of not getting like a full stream of like the music sounding like it, it's like you know playing off of a broken record or something i just have to make the into the, the inputs kind of like i said and like the easiest way to do that is because I, I don't really want to you know uh restart the capture card or anything i just like um cycle through the input methods and that kind of forces the the feed to refresh and i guess that seems to fix it I don't know why, but uh, yeah, not complaining about it either. So uh, last time we were just going to do the boss, um, like I assume it's like the boss of like the, the, the entire day three. Holy shit. Oh, you're the one that got Torres. Uh -oh. Ninety-five damage, Jesus Christ. Confuses target enemy. I wonder if that like does anything. Probably not. So is he just gonna like stand there and like spam? That attack, or did I just like mess up his his AI or something? Shouldn't he be like moving around and trying to kill me or anything? Oh, okay, yeah. Huh. That was surprisingly easy. Also, SG550. Huh. Your inventory is full. Well, it is indeed full. Just like discard stiffness. Stiffness. Oh. Okay. So, basically, I kind of figured like the best way to go about this is just since I I don't really care like about like new game plus or anything. Uh, 
Like the, 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 the best way to play this is kind of like stick all of the upgrades on one item and uh, then like whenever I get like a better piece of gear, just like move everything onto that with a tool. Wait, what? Excuse me? Oh no, there's like a secret thing here. Huh. Anything good? N jacket. It's like normal jacket, I guess. Which I'm pretty sure is like slightly better than what I have. Or, 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 or it, it, it would be. 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 
how do I avoid that? Like, all of these, like, AoE attacks, how... How? I kind of, like, get, like, the, the laser you need to be close to it to kind of just, like, go to the side and avoid it while it's, like, pivoting. Oh, wait, head's dead. Head's dead. Yay. He doesn't seem to want to do the like the the energy attack anymore. So I guess like the middle head was. Nope. Teach me to <laughs> jump to conclusions. Wait, what? Uh. Oh wait, second head's dead as well. Okay. No. God damn it. That was it? Yes! <laughs> Obtain all I am 9 2. I guess it's time for like some drama now. I guess the captain's dead as well. Oh, hold on. Like, I, I assume the captain's gonna die of his wounds or something. He's like died valiantly trying to protect the, the kid. It's gonna be, oh, I, I knew you would do it, and then pfft, dead. <laughs> it's like, Arr. Ben, Captain! <laughs> Aya! <laughs> Aya, Uncle Baker's hurt! <laughs> I only have three lines in this! Daddy! <laughs> hmm. Oh, Ben, are you okay? Uncle Baker was protecting me! And now he's dead. He's dead, totally dead. Oh, Captain, thank you. Remember where Ben was younger? We used to all play. Wait, we used to all play at your place? No! That's not appropriate. <laughs> it's like not appropriate at all. <laughs> what the actual fuck? Yeah, cut, cut that out. Baker is fine, like the old times. Ah, Shiva. Ben. Aya, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, whoever did this to Shiva, you'll get them right. Kill them. <laughs> what do they teach kids these days? <laughs> yep. Wait, that was it? That's like... That, 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 that has to be like the least climactic ending to a chapter in a horror game ever. Um, <clears throat> people. Huh, come on, Daniel, you're in charge now. Yeah, well, I, I'm not used to this sort of thing. <laughs> you're doing great, boss. <laughs> like, what? what? But why did Eve decide to attack the precinct? Uh, to get rid of us? Hello? <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> Maybe that Japanese guy knows something about it. Mm, you're right. Where'd he go anyway? Wait, Daniel's the boss now? Can I get like a... I bet he's snooping around the criminal ID lab on the third floor. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Can I get like a permit or something to go modify my weapons? Since now we've, we've got like the... Uh, we've got like the... Um, I don't know what it's called. Like We can get like favors from this guy because 
he's my former boss or something. I mean, he's technically still my boss, but, you know, not my mentor type boss, it's more like the precinct boss. Will you save the game? Should I? I mean, I just did, but... So this is like a habit that I, I think I developed after dying like over and over and over again in games. Um, especially JRPGs, like every time there's like some form of, co of like conversation that goes on for more than two lines, I, I, I get like the itch to go save because I, I, I feel like there's gonna be some you know, thing happening uh, where like I die and I have to sit through the entire thing all over again and it's always unskippable. <laughs> so it, 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 it's kind of like a, like a, mm, like, I don't know, like muscle reaction at this point. <laughs> See dialogue, we'll save. <laughs> I was like all gone quiet now. Hi. Hmm, don't you worry, Aya. I'll be looking after this place for Torres. You leave all equipment tweaks to me. We're playing it my way now. No permit needed. <laughs> but it'd be nice if you could bring me some gun trading cards. So... Still a permit, but now it's a trading card. Hey, I may not come close to being as good as old Torres, but you can trust my work. So what will it be? Okay, fair enough. Tune-up weapon. Handgun. Actually, yeah, first thing I want to do is sort, like store a few things. Let's see. I've got the N jacket, which we kind of decided was strictly worse. Um, rifle, handgun, grenade launcher. Do I actually want to keep the grenade? I actually think I want to keep the grenade launcher. Um, I, I just need to compare if the G19 and the M92 are like better from one another. Uh, also, empty all bullets from this and store. Nope. Store it, not discard it. <laughs> Okay. Wait, the M92 actually comes up higher than... Oh, okay. So, uh, store the Hamaya, since it's kind of useless. Remove a tool, because I kind of want to check and see if... Uh, well, if the, if the M92 is better, I'm going to need a tool to transfer all the stuff I've been putting in the, uh, in the G19. Okay, so, ah, uh, comparison time, the best thing of JRPGs. Okay, so more damage, less range, less bullets. Actually, like, substantially more damage, since the M92 doesn't actually have, like, any upgrades. So, Parameter will be moved and G19 will be lost. Yeah, so now it does like 47 and has like 58 range. Yes, it is strictly better. <laughs> yep. CM best. I should probably also be like leveling my guns a little bit, but I don't know. I don't know what to spend it on, like, I, like I, I did read like on New Game Plus and while I, I really don't care for New Game Plus, um, it is nice to be a bit more efficient. So basically the idea is to spend as little as possible on, uh, um, what's it called? Um, spend spend as little as possible on 
uh, level ups or like IS stats because on New Game Plus those don't carry over. So it's just like basically you're throwing away your um, your points more or less. Uh, and the idea is that you, you, you want to put as many points as possible in guns and then move everything via tool to the one gun that you're going to keep at the end of the game. Because how New Game Plus works, you, you, you are basically allowed to keep one gun and one piece of armor um, to carry over to New Game Plus. Or sorry, I think it's called like EX game, I guess. Extra, extra round or something like that. I don't know. Um, so you don't want to, like as, as far as you can, you don't really want to like level up Aya herself. Cause like she gets stats from, you know, um, level ups. So you don't want to spend BP on, uh, on her. You do want to spend it all on weapons and then like when you're close to the end of the game just like transfer everything over to one single gun that you're gonna keep for new game plus or one single piece of armor or both um i'm not really gonna go for ex game though even though i know there's like an extended ending that supposedly makes more sense than uh, the ending i'm gonna get at the end of this At this point, I just like want to keep the playthrough as um, as easy as possible. So it still seems that like the, the way to go is just pump as many BP as you can into pistols and like rifles and whatever else, um, and just you know try to pump up the damage. Because it seems to me that like most. Uh, um, most fights are less about, you know, dodging and stuff and just like killing things as fast as possible so you don't get hit by the unavoidable stuff. Also, hey, Ghost Rider, hi, how's it going? How are you? How, how are we doing today? Thought you'd be here. Nah, how did you guess? This kind of place makes me think more clearly. I don't, I don't know why I'm doing a Shatner impression here, like a very bad Shatner imp impression. Hey, Maida, why did Eve attack the precinct? What I want to know is why Eve didn't show herself this time. I felt her presence here, but as soon as we arrived, she was gone. Mm, it could be a distraction. Distraction? What for? I don't know. The museum. Is there, wait, what? Is there a sperm bank or a hospital that contacts at artificial insemination nearby? A sperm bank? Well, I don't think Eve's body will last much longer. Right now, the mitochondria are just parasites in her body. So, she's trying to create the ultimate being like, Jack like she did in Japan? I'm afraid so. What? So, if we can stop her from getting there, she'll die eventually. I think a doctor at St. Francis Hospital specialized in artificial insemination. Let's go, Maida! Hey, what about me? I mean, no. You're captain now, remember? You gotta look for the after the precinct. Oh, alright. Here, take this then. What? <laughs> like 30 bullets? <laughs> like, we're like freaking police officers. Isn't that like an official... Like... Place or... You know... Um... Isn't there like an official place or like method or something to, you know, get bullets for free as a police officer, as an officer of the law? I mean, okay, generally, like, I understand, like, in most countries, including here, you, you don't, like, they, they don't, they shouldn't, and they don't have as much access to firearms, but, uh, <sighs> this is clearly not meant to be realistic in any way, so... If, if, if we're gonna get like if we're gonna have like a guy that tunes up our guns why not have someone else give us free ammo as well or you know just like make an excuse for it and make all the ammo infinite because here's the thing ammunition in horror games kind of makes sense to be like the way they make it like scars and like each each gun having like its own ammunition because 
in, 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 in a survival horror game, like for example, Resident Evil, what you're meant to be doing is kind of constantly trying to, you know, evaluate what you should be doing. Like, should I use the shitty gun, but it's gonna take more bullets to kill the thing? Should I use the more powerful gun, but I've only got like five bullets for it and I might need them for a boss later on or for like a kind of like a tighter spot? Um, do I just like use a grenade or do I just like try to skip through all of the zombies and so on and so forth? So, like, having multiple types of ammunition, multiple guns, multiple like offensive methods and all of them being kind of limited makes sense in like survival horror because they're, they're trying to kind of like stress you out with like decisions like am i making this harder for myself because i'm using like the the more powerful guns i mean is it going to be like harder down the line what's wrong you're awfully quiet oh uh, uh, I, I wonder why dalin didn't come with us uh, he said he's gonna get the dirt on clump he also wants to be with ben oh yes of course Wait, she do he doesn't trust us? Maeda? Yes. That creature that was born in Japan, what happened to it? You have to read the book for that, Aya. <laughs> he died, along with the scientist that was his father. How did a monster like that die? No, there was a rebellion. The mitochondria passed from the father didn't connect with the ones passed from Eve. It began to deteriorate and the father held on to the dissolving flesh as they died. And they died. <coughs> okay. Even though it's a monster, I guess it's still your child. But yeah, in this game, this doesn't really like work with the ammunition because like everything uses the same ammo pool. And like all of the guns like don't really have like pros and cons, like in, in, in the sense that like a Resident Evil game would like you get like more damage per shot and you get um more bullets you get more like faster like the the at gauge fills up faster but generally in most cases it's like a very clear like most efficient gun that you could be using and like everything else is kind of like subpar like depending on like what you've gotten in the game so in this specific survival horror plus jrpg thing they probably should have gone with like infinite ammunition you wait here I'll go in. Don't help me. Aya, take this. Another charm. <laughs> Another useless charm. It's a bell to keep away bad spirits. Just hold on to this, okay? So yeah, I kind of like looked at this up. I've also looked up the junk that we get from uh, like various places. Um, apparently, Midas charms don't do anything except for the very final one that you get, which is supposed to be like a placeholder um, to be traded in for like a very specific item at the end of the game tool hey um there's like some theories that maybe square enix intended to have those give you passives um like passive effects but they didn't really do anything with it so all of the charms i'm gonna be just like throwing in the um what's it called in the stash as soon as uh i, I get the chance because they're like purely here to take up space. Um, as for the junk, I found out that it's something you kind of like have to go grind for. Like a bunch of them, like 300 for whatever it is we're gonna getting. And you turn them in at the police station. Oh, hello. Nice. <laughs> Random... <laughs> A random box of 15 bullets in a freaking hospital. Door locked. That was like probably a key I could have picked up. Um, but yeah, the, 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 the junk is kind of like a, a, not collectible, but it's kind of like a resource. You need to get like 300 of them overall. And you can, like if, as soon as you trade all 300 of them, you get like a, like a choice of like certain weapons. Maya, or was it just my reflection? <laughs> Thing. Wait, no. No. Oh. But considering that, um, even 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 if I were to go grind for junk, 
you need a total of 300. Wait, going down. Oh no, the elevator cables. No. Wait, what, that was Eve? Mm, going down. Ho, ho, ho. I'm funny. Also, this is not what would happen if elevator cables were cut off. Just like be like a, a pile of fire, kind of like on, on the floor. Night, night. Don't let the bed bugs bite. The power. No. Okay. Oh. Eve's trying to trap me down here. She cut the main power line. Yeah, I, 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 I figured. Yeah, the elevators don't work. Oh, great! One elevator is broken, and without power, the other one is useless. Eh. No, I guess I have to go fight things and turn the power on. <laughs> Who would have expected that? Well, time to go check a bunch of doors. And probably fight a, a bunch of... Oh, hello. Bunch of things. Fuse. <laughs> it's like a random fuse on top of the... On, on top of like the shelving, just like sitting there. Hey, Tuma, hi, how's it going? How are we doing today? Uh oh. What the fuck? Spicy? Hmm, nice. Uh oh. Oh no, this thing's poison you. I hate this so much. Poison enemies are just like the worst in any RPG you, you ever, ever care to mention. Doesn't have to be JRPG, just, just RPG. Any RPG you care to mention, poison enemies are usually the worst. Maybe like tied for the ones... Uh... Oh, wait, what? Oh shit, there's like a door. No, go back. Not done with this room. Go back. Come play with us. <laughs> Why are you dressed in those clothes? You must be cold. <laughs> it's like, she's like clearly like a ghost or like demon kid or something. I don't know. Parasite kid. Whatever. Point is we shouldn't be trying to engage with it in conversation. Whoops. No, move! Don't, don't, don't poison me, brah! And yeah, I like poison enemies are just like. I, I hate them. I hate them so much in, in, in like games. They. Like, they always. Like, they always require you to have some kind of. You know, resource on hand to dispel the poison, or else you're kind of stuck with just like your HP slowly draining away with, with like you doing, being able to do like nothing. Also, there's like another grenade launcher in the hospital. Excuse me. <laughs> Why? Like who 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 goes around like putting these things all over the place? There's like bullets and grenade launchers and stuff. I mean, okay, like the, the weird monster things. What's that? Oh, I skipped it. Autopsy room. Door locked. Of course. So there's like two keys that we need to find. <gasps> Hope you enjoy your stay. Oh, wait. This was the exit, right? Uh-huh. I mean, this is kind of interesting, I guess. Like, like she, she's like trying to trap us and like the environment's change. But... Wouldn't it be better if we actually saw Eve doing this? Because, like, does she have psychic powers now and can just, like, make these things collapse on their own? Oh, bother. Oh, no. Fly enemies. Yep, more poison more poison wait this is 
On the ground too? Ah, I hate this. Hey, Alex. Hi, how's it going? How are we doing today? I hate this thing so much. This part of the game. Wait, is this like a bad part of the game? Am I going to get annoyed? Am I going to get pissed off? Am I going to rue the day that I decided to do Parasite Eve for streams? There is one thing that annoyed you, and it's a fun part. Okay. <sighs> well. Don't look much into it. Just recognize where you were. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah, it's actually the worst thing, though. It's like, <laughs> he's at that party. <laughs> it's gonna be fun. He's gonna suffer for it. <laughs> Autopsy key. Okay. We just, like, save. I realized why you said it. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> it's like, oh, oh. Mm, you're in for a fun treat. <laughs> it's like, no, I'm not. I don't want to be for a fun treat. It's like, please. <laughs> I mean, honestly, like, so far this game's been okay. There are a few design decisions that I don't really like. Such as specific random encounters resetting when you go to like a different screen. Shit, no. Uh, um, I don't like that some attacks seems, seem to be unavoidable. Especially the AoE stuff. I just can't figure out how to dodge that. If there's even a way to dodge that. Um, I don't like how the ammo system works either, but that's like a different issue altogether. Even though, yeah, I guess you can probably grind these things for like from here till Kingdom Come if you want to just like stock up on ammunition, but still, I don't know. I'd, I'd much rather they gave you infinite ammo and just like took that part of the grind out of it. Because I could just, like, sit in the police station and grind the crows on day three. Or I could be doing, like, these little things for, like, an hour or two. Um, but that's not fun. Just with the basic pistols had infinite ammo, but the rest was... I mean, yeah, that too, but at the, at the point where, like, everything is using the same kind of ammo, I much rather everything was infinite, and they would just, like, explain it by, oh, yeah, you, you're, like, a police officer, and you, 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 get, you, you get everything from, like, service. Oh, shit, no, no, no. I hate this so much. Uh, stop spitting green goo on me. Or, you know, get stun lock. That, 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 that also works. <laughs> yeah, I, I didn't quite mean it like that, but at, at, the, at the point where you have a dedicated police officer person to modify every single gun that you bring him, they could probably have easily explained the infinite ammo that way. Just, you know, I, I don't like the grind in JRPGs, like, regardless of what they are. Your inventory is full. <sighs> Again. I love that you can't actually discard these things, but they don't really do anything. It grinds. This one was minimal. I mean, yeah, like it seems like a short game. I know it's like like six days, and I'm already on like day four with five hours played, five and a half, five and a half. So it, it definitely is on like the short end of the spectrum as far as both JRPGs and horror games go. Also, I'm kind of overstocked <laughs> on medicine. <laughs> I just realized I should, probably should be using these instead of the uh, psychic powers, or sorry, parasite powers. Like, 
I don't want to cure my pee. Just like re remove it. I want to be offensive as much as possible. So therefore, haha. A penguin visit over here. Hi, Rooks. Hi, how's it going? How are we doing today? I mean, don't don't mind him. He'll just like waddle off in in a bit. It's probably like past midnight over there, I guess. Hey, get a random fuck. Wait, it's nine a.m. Huh? Yeah, I, I I got my time zones wrong. Okay, give me a moment. It's like uh, fuck the rooks up. <laughs> He likes that. <laughs> like he, you've been redeeming it for the last week or so. So, so he's like a nice Halloween one. Did you know? Back in 1816, while stuck inside on a rainy day, writers Mary Shelley, Percy Shelley, Lord Byron, and John Polidori challenged each other to a scary story writing contest. Mary Shelley came up with the idea for Frankenstein and published it two years later at the age of 20. Uh, yep. Actually, I, I actually heard a podcast that like mentioned this like a couple of weeks ago, and that was like so interesting. By the way, it's like a, there's like a BBC podcast called uh, You're Dead to Me, which they basically get like a comedian and... Oh, shit. Shit. No. Fuck. Uh, they, they get like a comedian and like a historian and they get them to kind of discuss like a specific historical figure. Um, I would highly recommend it. It's like a great podcast. Uh, and they did talk about like Lord Byron in like one of the episodes and this story did come up then as well. Competition, let's see who writes a classic. I mean, Lord Byron also wrote like a bunch of classic stuff. He's... He's like a fairly well-known historical figure as well. So... Yeah, apparently he was also friends with Mary Shelley. She of Frankenstein fame. I think Frankenstein actually is credited with like inventing like the, the, the modern horror um, kind of like literature genre or something. The greatest horror story was this I was 2020. Yeah. I, I I want to laugh at that, but having lived through 2020, <laughs> I don't really think I want to. <laughs> oh, it's been like a shitty year. I mean, again, I, I'm, I'm literally mentioning this to like friends and colleagues all the time. It's like 2020 just flew by and... I have very little recollection of what anything that I may have done during 2020. Another fuse? Fuse too! Aha! But apparently we can't open the first aid station because that would be dumb. So what what is this place and why is there like nuclear like signage here? <sighs> is, is this like supposed to be like an MRI scan or something or like you know something like that in like a fertility clinic for whatever reason? <laughs> uh, I'm so full up on everything. I have to discard um curatives and that's like literally the worst. Blue card key. Oh. So I can't just like believe I, I I almost missed this. Discarding meds. I mean I can discard ammunition, I can discard the tools because those are kind of hard to come by. I can't actually go back to the station to store things and I I don't really want to leave things in, in, in this place because I don't know if it's going to be accessible later on. Although so far, every place I've been to has in one way or another been accessible. So... Come on, poison, poison. Thank you. No, hold on. Ah, 
Am I close enough? I am. Okay, good. <sighs> I hate this thing so much. Now it's body blocked me on onto the green goop. Like they should definitely for like for like the like this like specific reason of not like getting boxed into places uh, they should at, at least like let you go through some enemies like not maybe not the boss enemies but they, they shouldn't have oh haste nice um, yeah see can't actually do that I should like not have hitboxes on the on the regular enemies. So you, you could just like go through them if you if you get stuck in like a corner or something. They're throwing away my meds. Oh, come on. That, that, that that's kind of mean. <laughs> it's like very mean actually. <laughs> go oh nice so i'm actually very curious how this game like determines random encounters because it seems to be like one per screen and it always seems to be the same configuration on like each screen uh but then they don't always trigger so no idea how oh okay no idea how it, it it like determines like if you get like a random encounter or not it yeah it, it's always the same one like for example if i go into this room it's gonna be like the, the, that group of two like poison blob thingies but i i didn't get it this time so maybe I, like let's see it, it should it, like it should happen here but see it doesn't the first two times I came through the room, it did trigger. And now I'm wondering if it's like a like specific number of encounters per room until you like reach like a trigger point. It's like a fixed random. Yeah, exactly. That's that's kind of what I'm like thinking. I'm thinking like the first three or four times you go through a room, it it forces you into um, an encounter and then it's kind of like a 50-50 chance. Or like maybe not like a 50-50 chance, but kind of like a chance. Anyway. Oh, wait. Are we back in the... Oh. I didn't know there was an exit here. Okay. Let me just like save. So yeah, I'm kind of thinking maybe they did something like this to not let you grind too much. Like, uh, I don't know what this is. It seems this key is no longer useful. I'll discard it. Oh, wait, it's like the blue key. Yeah. Can't play with us. Maya, wait, don't leave me alone. <laughs> what? So Aya's got issues. Who who would have thought that a horror game protagonist has issues? Hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna bet none of you saw this coming. That sounds unique. I know, right? It's like there's like a staff meeting at Square Enix and there's like this like junior like sorry there's like this oh my god there's like this senior person is like going what the fuck is this oh it's like a multi part It's like this senior person is going like okay we we need ideas for uh,
we need ideas for our protagonist. We we need to figure out how to make them uh, unique. And it's like someone's going, I know, let's give them like uh, like deep seated psychological issues. It's like, my God, <laughs> you're a genius. Also, what is this thing? Is it like a TV or something? She's like 70% of more or, or more. Wait. Oh, I thought went away. Maria, yeah, I mean like in, in like a design, um, like from like a design perspective, right? Your inventory is full. It it just seems that like the focus is on it's always on people that have problems. Um, when when they're like writing a, a horror game protagonist, it's like there's like there's like never been ever been like a well-adjusted kind of like average person in a horror game that I can think of. Like, maybe they accept like the Resident Evil games, but those I consider kind of like more like comedy horror <laughs> based on their story rather than, you know, actual proper, well-written horror. Um, but like, take for example Silent Hill games. Oh no, the main circuit breaker is torn apart and some fuses are missing. Insert the fuse? Yes, yes, yes. How many do we need? Insert a fuse. Insert coin to continue. Oh, wait. There's like the, the board it fills up every time. So there's like only three missing then. Jill sandwich is a horrifying idea. Wait, did this fix it? Wait, am I gonna... <laughs> What's the point of this? Why couldn't I repair this before I put in the fuses? <laughs> wow. Can you can you say pointless puzzle? Oh, wait, this takes me back to the... Oh, no. Elevators. I should have gone in the elevator room. So how do you dodge this thing in, 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 in like this cramped little corridor? What the fuck? What the actual fuck were they thinking with this? But yeah, also, also I, I apparently can touch like an entire like building's worth of like power supply and only give myself a mild, mild choke that doesn't even take away any health. My God, the mitochondria! <laughs> Maybe that's like the explanation. I mean, I kind of joked about this earlier, but it, it does seem like this game is doing to mitochondria what, like, the, the prequel movies did to uh, midi-chlorians. Wait, what? There's like two of them? Maya and me? Come play with us. <laughs> you need the green key card. Okay, sorry, game. Jeez. I need to be so pissy about it. Wait, what? <sighs> okay, I want to try something though. I've been meaning to... I 
give this a go. Excuse me. Oh, okay, but it stuns you after you. Mm, okay, so yeah, that's that's why it does so much damage. Like a pretty major drawback there. kind of thinking maybe it's a good thing to use like boss fights on like halfway through I assume you can dodge after it and you're not just like leaving yourself open to like a one shot GTFO attack or whatever I really like this song but it's it kind of feels like this is the only song on the soundtrack and that gets old fast, like exploration wise at least. Oh no. Oh no, not the, the stupid rat thing. Not the bees. Ah, they're in my eyes. Not the bees. Not the bees. <laughs> I can't really do like a Nicolas Cage voice. <laughs> Actually, I think like only Nicolas Cage can like reliably do a Nicolas Cage voice. <laughs> I don't know about you two, but I'm getting out of here. <laughs> oh, sorry, it's like a lady. Mrs. Newsbaum, what about your medication? It's no use to me if I'm dead. <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> yes, thank you. However, a nurse is trapped in the other room. Could you help her out? <laughs> I don't know why I'm doing this. Enunci enunciation. <laughs> also, I love there's like a nurse here and like a patient as well. And I was just in the other room shooting around like, you know, weird blob things and none of them thought to ask about that oh hold on maybe you should be using the other armor it, it makes you immune like or not, not immune but it, it's supposed to be strong against status ailments <laughs> she's seen it all yeah she's like close to retirement and she doesn't take no shit Oh, God damn it! No. No. Come on. What's this setup? This room, I've seen it before, in flashbacks in days one, two, and three. I'm getting hot. Wait, really? <laughs> uh, I, I know what the translation means, but this is so dumb. It's like, oh my god, this, this hospital gurneys are so hot. <laughs> I know I've been here before, but, but why? What was I doing here? Oh, 
plot happens. See, I knew there was like a twin girl, like a twin sister. I said that on the very first stream. <sighs> yes, yes, wonderful background art. Can we go back to doing the game, please? Wait, that, that nurse was definitely not there when we got into the room. Whew, I thought I was done for. Thanks. Hmm. Glad to help, but you could help me even more by telling me where the doors next to the elevators lead. <laughs> um, to the storage areas of the hospital, that's where we keep oxygen tanks and our main supply of ni liquid nitrogen. What do you we use liquid nitrogen for, like, freezing stuff? I don't know. I don't know. Here. <laughs> Take this green key card and find out yourself. I'm not staying to see what happens next. <laughs> it's like, do we like explode the hospital or something? Oh fuck. Wait. Ah. Uh, okay. Wait, does she take it out of your cleavage? <sighs> oh my dude. Designers, what were you thinking? Well. They did have like that whole like racist like encounter at like the start of day three so eh. everyone's either dead or evacuated i think i'll choose the latter it's like you don't say <laughs> tell me more about how you'll choose to not die Light and very durable. Oh, you know, this actually might be better than what I have. It's like. And I just realized I have enough tools to... Oh, wait. Where was it? Maybe transfer the... No. Yep. So I think... If I... If I... If, I, if I'm, like, understanding this correctly, I just moved the cannot get poison thing. Or at least, like, resist poison thing on the SP jacket. So, okay, that's good. It's kind of nice. You, you can actually like cherry pick stuff that you want onto like something else. It's kind of like a shame I couldn't like pick the auto heal thing from the other uh, piece of armor. Oh well. Combat again? No? Oh, lovely. Well, I guess we're going for a boss fight now. Wait, are we going for a boss fight? Is this like the end of day four? Isn't this kind of short? Took me like an hour, an hour and a half to get through it. I mean, there's like, there's like the possibility that the day doesn't actually end, but... Wait, what? What's she doing here? Can you tell me why the hospital uses liquid nitrogen? Well, for many different things. You can use it to freeze off warts and such, but its main use is for research. It keeps the sperm bank from spoiling. Sperm bank? Oh my god! <laughs> How do I turn it off? <laughs> oh god. <laughs> like, the shock at the words sperm bank. Well, the, well, there is a valve that you can turn off in the storage area. Why? Sorry, I don't have time to explain. I'm gonna go cause your hospital a bunch of damage. By the way, which floor is the research lab located on? The 13th? Wait, there's like 13 floors to this? I'm going to look around and see if anyone needs medical attention. Uh, me? You know, the person that's been fighting all of the like mitochondrial abominations oh 
Actually, there's like a door here. Let me let me let me go check that first. And find a thing. Oh, hey, this is bigger. Uh, fuck off! No, don't, don't. Hate this so much. Probably my, my my biggest gripe with this game is like how 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 insistent it is to kind of like force you into like very tight spaces and, and then do combat in them. Like, you know, on a freaking horse drawn carriage at the end of day two. That was kind of like a dumb combat arena. And that was it? Did I did I did I ruin all the sperm now? <laughs> God. Oh, why did they have to go this this way with the story? Square, what the fuck? Wait, that was it? Just like turn the valve off and then off to the 13th floor to do boss fights? <laughs> I mean, sure. That's a bit anticlimactic, but select floor, basement, lobby, 13th. <laughs> Top, mid, bottom. <laughs> So I kind of wonder, like, what's the speedrun of this game look like? Like, because it's like a horror game, and and traditionally those are quite fast as far as like speedrunning is concerned. But then on the other hand, fuck off. But yeah, like, traditionally, like, uh, horror games are, like, quite fast as, like, as, as far as, like, their speedruns go. But JRPGs aren't. So I'm very curious to see, like, what, like, the combination of that would look like in, in, in like, a speedrunning context. And like what usually happens in, in JRPGs, they, they would try to kind of like sequence break by uh, like getting levels fast, like in places that they maybe shouldn't be getting levels, or just like using an attack or like a combination of attacks that kind of like breaks the game. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm not actually sure there's such a thing in this game, except maybe that freaking like laser thing that I can do, but then that is like one shot and like the entire um uh like the, the entire uh p gauge kind of like goes away and then you also get stunned for a few seconds while you recover so yeah i was like very curious to know uh 
like what 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 exactly it is that they do to speed run this game. So last ah uh, tool. Wait, that was a tool, right? Yeah. G three A three. Oh, really? Actually, I actually know what this one is. Oh, it's got a lot of range. Slightly less attack, though. Although I kind of assume that if I... If I, like, pass over all of my... Uh, upgrades to it. Yup. Much better. Yeah, I guess we're like, going with rifles now. Um... Also, this one has like an empty slot, so... You know what? Fuck it. I was just like... It's like gonna carry this. Or like maybe the rate of fire? I think that's like better. Let's see. Door locked. But yeah, last like in, in in like day two, I kind of like screwed myself over by missing like a very small hotspot and not getting the Zuki. So I literally spent forty five minutes of the stream just like going around in in, in in circles, trying to figure out why nothing would like open for me. And there's like the freaking door key was in the very first room I came upon in the uh, zoo, but because I was maybe three or four pixels to the left or right I it, 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 it didn't like trigger I have to stop Eve before more people die hey, this is cool I guess wait is that is that like the was like the Empire State Building I guess is this like on fire? Or is it just like PS1 era, uh, you know, CD lights? Okay, we can go through here. Don't know if there's like anything in here. No. This is like elevator again. So... What am I missing here? Door locked. Combat? No. King, really? Also, layout-wise, this room would be behind the elevator, and I don't see how that would work. No oh, joy. Oh, this actually does like quite a fair bit of damage. That's nice. Come on, don't stun lock me. Very slow. So very slow. Also, look at that range, though. Like it, 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 it goes like straight across the room. Yep. Yep. 
Uh, at least it makes dealing with this thing slightly less of a pain. Looks like it, it, it should open. Huh. Critical evasion. Hey. I have no idea what any of these stats do, but <laughs> screw it. More stats is good, right? for you but save point and enemy imagine dying here like right next to the save point how how much would that suck ah uh. Yeah, it, it, it locked onto the entirely wrong thing. So there's like a thing on the floor here. What is this? Junk. <laughs> the HLA list. Ben's and Lorraine's name are on here too. It's the same list that was on Dr. Clump's computer. What's he trying to do? Those are patient records. Mariko Brea, that's my mother's record. December 23rd, 1977. Taken in with Maya Brea after an accident. Pronounced dead after cardiac arrest. Maya Brea, the daughter. The next page is missing. It's somewhere else. Oh no. Wait, are, does it turn out to look like a clone or something? Melissa Pierce! It's got to be that Melissa! December 23rd, 1977. Emergency hospitalization. Operation successful. After six months of hospitalization, released. Needs medication from hospital. Melissa and Maya were brought into the hospital on the same day and operated on... No, it can't be. Dr. Clam! What is this? Your inventory is full. <laughs> no, that's not it. No. How useful. Also more ammunition in, in in what looks to be like a like a laboratory. Why? <laughs> Were these like like the most self-aware uh, scientists ever? Did they know they were, they were gonna like end up in a horror game? And there's, there's gonna be like things like trying to kill them was that artificial sperm development stuff Hans Hans clump dr. clump <gasps> clump is the sperm guy I mean <laughs> e. <laughs> sounds gross <laughs> yeah I kind of wish they had like more like variety on like music in in the action areas in the game because like as far as i remember central park didn't really have anything playing in the background until you got to to fight eve and then it was like the the opera thing that also played on like day one so boss fight 
sense, man. It's like a boss wait, but <laughs> why are we in a ship? Fighter jets, prepare to launch. Head to Central Park. Remember, no unnecessary attacks. Target the enemy in the air and be alert. Manhattan's practically deserted. Why don't they just... Uh... No, Lynch. We haven't re received orders from the president to attack yet. At this point, we need to look for the missing people from the park and warn the city. The Navy of all people? Oh, is this gonna be like the let's cleanse everything with an airstrike thing from Ari 2? Or, you know, every every Hollywood movie of, of like the early 90s. Or I guess like Square just like wanted to do... Okay, okay, I, I, I call bullshit here. Why was there a car in the, in the street there? Why was there a car in the street there? Isn't like Manhattan supposed to be fully evacuated? Or something. Oh no. An empty container from the sperm bank. <laughs> please. Please don't show me what they're like doing with the... What, what was in that container, please. Thank you very much. Carrier based F-15. Yeah, my, my, my guess is that Square Enix wanted to do like... Sorry, Square Soft. Wanted to do like a... Um, like a... Like, big action set piece oh no it's gonna be like a big boss fight here yep what the actual fuck is that no fuck off okay how do i excuse me I mean, I, I have no idea, to be honest. I'm sorry. I, I generally don't really do well with uh, military stuff. Fuck. I just, like, walked right into that. G Scorpion, hi, how's it going? How are we doing today? Uh oh. Oof. Wait. What? Oh, is the fight done? Or is this like phase two? Yep. Phase two. <laughs> Straight to the face. Hit on phase two. Thank you about that. Stupid game. Also, fuck my life. This is... Stupid. It's like so stupid. Really? Like, move, please. This is so annoying.
Ah! This is. This is. Fuck right off. Why don't you? I guess I just like keep shooting at it and take the hits. <laughs> wow. Kill three, hey. Awesome. And another gun. Does it keep getting gun after gun after gun? How am I supposed to know which which one to use? There's like literally fifteen or twenty of them so far, and there's like random letters and numbers. Which I assume they're meant to be like references to IRL uh, weapons, but you know. So you found this place. You're going to use the sperm to give birth to the ultimate being. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're a bright one. The first rebellion took place some years ago on a far off eastern island. There, my sister committed a fatal error. I'm higher in the evolution chain than my sister. I will never commit the same mistake. You're not my. Finally caught on, huh? No! <laughs> Your feeble organisms depend on machines to do all the work. Stop! <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, that kind of dialogue doesn't really fit, does it? Mm. Yeah, she's gonna like uh, blow them up or something. Yep, there we go. Oh. Gross. Gross. You've just witnessed the limitations of humans. Please, no more. <laughs> what if I don't want to? <laughs> what is this dialogue? <laughs> it's a shame we couldn't understand each other. The jet. It's going to. It's going to crash into the roof. I've got to get out of here. Oh. Okay. Wait, how do I get out? Or do I jump into, into the hole? No, I'm dead, aren't I? Yep. Please don't make me do the... Oh. Please don't make me do the boss fight again. That's, that's, that's all I'm thinking at the moment. <laughs> also fireworks, damn it! Why? The jet would actually crash. Oh no, the brake! Wait, did the boss just like flick the brakes off? Really? Really? Ow. Also, random boss fight is random. Uh, it's like random fight is random. God, this game is just like going off the rails more and more. No, and let me guess. I stopped it just before it hit the ground. Hmm. Over here, Maida! Hiya! We don't have any time! You've got away with a sperm sample! <laughs> God. Oh, this is... Some dialogue. Thank you for saving me, Daniel! Um, you can study all you want, but you gotta brush up on other things too, man! No girl's gonna wanna be with you if you're gonna be like that. <laughs> really? Come on. What? Please, I... <sighs> Jesus Christ. Daniel, is everything okay back at the station? That's the thing. I found out several things about Clump, but... In the past, the doctor from that hospital was fired for giving out a patient list. A list? You mean, like, the one with the HLA listings? These guys have access to just about everything. But I've got other info, too. This is what I heard from Warner, who was on to Melissa. 
She was seen going into the museum late at night on several occasions. Eve? She was going into the museum? <gasps> we need to go there. We must get there before the thing is born. Mm, calm down. We're there, buddy. Oh boy, it was like two dungeons in a night. Wow. Well, I love it. Oh, never mind. How did they get everything fixed up in here? Like, look at this. Like, everything is like new doors, new stuff. Like, how? Like, considering like the like the entire island of Manhattan is supposed to be like you know deserted now, how did they get like people to fix this? Ah, oh, yeah, Detective Warner has some new information. Oh, okay. What happens in here? Let me go back and just like empty my inventory first. Nano machines, yeah. No, that's like a different franchise. <laughs> I heard that the captain saved Ben's life. Shiva was his partner when he was a rookie. Must have been hard for him to shoot here. Yeah, but he didn't shoot here. We did. Stupid JRPG. People like taking credit over my boss fights. What the actual fuck? Okay, let's see. Actually, hold on. Need to check. Uh, Club to micro UZ. Oh, no. I want this one. So, just like store the G23. <coughs> oh, sorry about that. And the micro UZ. Thank you. Oh wait, no, I have this equipped, I can't actually move it out of here. Whoops. I actually want to try this ra like random rate of fire on my current gun. So sorry, babe. Gotta have a permit or a T card if you want to tune up your gear. Really? It's like fuck off. Store item, store this lucky charm, which does nothing. Uh, <clears throat> store a few more uh, medicine. I mean, he does have like some uh, like re like replenishing ammo here. So also, yeah, it's like very obvious they just loaded the like the, the previous map like before the attack, <clears throat> which is kind of dumb, considering that they uh, like 
I'd much have like preferred if they left it with like the damage model, like the the, the damage backgrounds, because you know it would make more sense when like the entirety of like Manhattan is supposed to be deserted, uh, that they would they, they wouldn't be able to fix everything up. Since we've only seen like five police officers overall in the game, and like four of them are like main, oh, sorry, they're like supporting characters, and like there's like this Kathy person that's just like there. <laughs> Some time ago, a doctor at the hospital was fired for selling off patient records, and Melissa was seen going into the museum late at night several times. Heave? Wait, didn't we just like hear about this? Clamp, that bastard! I knew he was a part of this. We'll split up here and search the entire city. Even Clamp must be meeting soon. We must hurry. It'll be too late once the ultimate being is born. Yeah, I'll go snoop around some more for any info. Brought you a walkie-talkie so we can keep in touch. <laughs> okay, thanks. It just like leaves. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, no, this makes more sense. I'm counting on you too, Mr. Scientist. Well. <laughs> We'll all split up and look for Eve. You find any trace of her, you call for bug up. Where are you gonna stay here, Daniel? Well, not anymore. And push papers all day? You're kidding me. Let us know if anything comes up. <laughs> it's like, what? It's like, wait? Uh, yes, okay, I got it. Day five. That was like a very short day four. It took me like maybe an hour and a half, and that was with being like very, you know, screwing around a little bit. Wonder if I can actually finish this on, on like this stream. It was supposed to take like between 12 and 15 hours to finish Parasite Eve. But now I'm kind of like wondering if. Oh, Chinatown? Really? Wouldn't like the museum be like the, the best place to to check first? Why do we have like Chinatown as a new like location? Hmm. But yeah, like on how long to beat it? It's got like fifteen or sixteen hours on, on average. So I am kind of wondering if that also includes new game plus. Because there's, like, apparently, in order to get, like, the full ending or, like, the true ending or whatever, uh, you need to play the game twice, and you also need to clear, like, an optional dungeon on the second playthrough. Like, um, I want to say the Chrysler building, uh, is it? Yeah, I guess we're going to... Wait, warehouse? Okay, this one's new, too. Officer Brea. Uh, uh, Eve is in there. Why don't you check it out, huh? I'll I'll go call for some backup, okay? So y you go check it out. Wow. Is he gonna close it behind me? Oh, come on, we're getting out of here. <laughs> wow. Oh, PBK. What's that first thing mean? Hold on, there's like a passive that I'm kind of like wondering. Rate of fire 5. Quick draw first attack. Oh. I'm like very intrigued. Maybe I should just like use a tool and transfer that onto the G3 as well. Wait, I didn't save, did I? Ooh. CM Protector. High defense and strong against special special attacks, I, I guess. 
It's like better than the SP jacket. No, it is. Or at least it's gonna be as soon as I get like a tool. Do I have a tool? No. I kind of used all of them. Oh well. Yep. Boss fight. No boss fight. Okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> what was that? <laughs> oh no. Oh, it's like the, the recolored, like the upgraded version of. Uh... Wait, why does it say random? Oh. Oh. No. Wait, does this mean that it hits random targets? Oh, I shouldn't have put that on the G3. Shit. Random. Rate of fire 1.5. Oh, it, it, it hits random targets, but it... It shoots faster because of it? Yeah. Ah, uh, that was not good. Warehouse key. Yay, more keys. I'm just like so pissed off. I actually like the G3. And now I kind of like fucked it up. Like the, the, the way the tooltip like cut it, I, I thought like the rate of fire was gonna be like random. God. Not to think the targets are gonna be random. Like, what's the use in that when you kind of like want to kill something very specific? Like, on anything with more than two enemies, it's gonna be a huge issue. I mean, at least it's got like a decent ish range. So even if it like randomly decides to hit something that's like far off, it, 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 it's like likely to hit it. And it does also make it like a, a bit a bit faster to kind of like you know start shooting. So ah, oh, I hate this though. I hate this so much. And there's like no way to like remove something from there. I guess maybe if I get like enough tools, I can eventually override it with other perks or like passives. Rocket for the rocket launcher. Huh. Okay. SP protector. Although, if if you're wondering why a warehouse that's clearly supposed to be like a like a loading bay kind of thing has like a random rocket sitting there, I mm, I have nothing for you. I do have a save point though. God, I hate this so much. I, 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 I liked that gun. Why did I do that? <sighs> like imagine having to fight a boss now and like having to hit a specific point of it. Or, you know. Because the combat system is so great in, in like tight spaces.
<laughs> I'm like legitimately upset right now. <laughs> That's what what I just did. And like the only reason that I did it is because the game doesn't give you like clear information. <laughs> ah! Hold on, can I actually remove something from this? Like, can I just like scrap something else and like pass that over to the... Uh, the, blah, blah, the thingamajig? Nope. Well, not, not yet at least. I mean, bullets don't seem to be an issue anymore. So long as I keep getting like those like plus 30 drops. Also, also, wasn't I supposed to call for backup before I rushed in like this? No? Yes, maybe. Boss fight. Yep, boss fight. Oh, please tell me there's no, like, weak spots. Yeah, there's weak spots. There's, like, the two claws. And I probably just, like, have to hit it in the middle, but I have the stupid random thing. God! No! Twenty-seven damage. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I'm dead. No, I'm not dead.
Yeah, it just like does like diesel squat. Might as well just like go back to the G3. Freaking all of my revives. God damn it. And all of that because of the stupid random fire thing. Cause yeah, it's like very clear that I'm supposed to be shooting the like the claws and not like the middle bit, but since stupidly I kind of like installed the like the the, the random thingy on the. <sighs> no, don't 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 load that one. God. Do 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 Oh, God. <sighs> Actually, just like looking up, there's like a... So there is like an item called a super tool in this game where you can actually remove the um, like a passive without um, like destroying the, the the item. I'm trying to see if there's like anything I can get. <sighs> Not yet. Anyway. God. This is so annoying. This is so annoying.
Hmm. Ah, it's gonna be such a crap shot. So the other thing I could probably do is like remove the SP jacket uh, and yeah, do it like this, like get the CM protector on, which has the ability to automatically use healing items when I'm close to dying. She's still like so annoying, like, God. This was like such a nice uh, gun and kind of like fucked it up because I, I didn't realize what like uh, the ability I installed was. Boo. for a boss okay at least now and I kind of like know oh shit I have like a very general idea of how um, how to at least like avoid the bubble attacks well Somewhat. not and that works too
AT4, uh. what is that? Rocket launcher or something? Just like went through my entire stock of uh, curatives. Mm. A rocket launcher. Oh wait, it has like a different like. See this? There's like a different like ammunition icon. So I guess it doesn't use like bullets like everything else. Oh, okay. And we got a tool. Yay. Okay, but what now? Wait, was this supposed to be like an optional area or something? Okay. So yeah, the the, the 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 steam is like damaging me. Oh, okay. I guess it's like an optional area then. There's like nothing more I can actually do here as far as I can see. Oh god, and I'm out of, like, every single curative. So if 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 there's like a fight on the on like the way back from like the, the the bridge, I'm dead. Cause those things do like a like upwards of like a hundred damage, and it doesn't seem like my P energy, I guess, parasite energy, like uh, like um, regenerates outside of combat. So if there's like a fight here. There isn't. Okay, that's good. I would have been dead. I'm just like gonna save, <laughs> just in case. Also, I have to know, like, is the warehouse like a, um. What's it called? Um, it's like an optional area. Well, it is an optional. Oh, it is. The warehouse is a is a location in Parasite Eve on day five. Well, it's an optional dungeon. It's a good place to grind. Although some enemies are tough, so they may maybe blah 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 blah. blah. Aya can find the CM Protector and SP Protector armors here. Both are likely superior than here, blah, blah, blah. There is a crab boss at the end, which drops the AT4 rocket launcher, which can come in handy in later fights. Okay, so I guess, like, the entire point of this is to get, like, the armors and, like, a rocket launcher. Sure. And I guess eat through my entire uh, healing item uh, uh, stock. Maybe I should go back to the police station. Like, hopefully, there's not going to be any fights on the way. Um, 
Although when when like the the wiki says that's a good place to grind, that kind of tells me there's gonna be fights happening, which I really hope isn't the case. Yep. Because fuck you, that's why. Yep, I'm dead. Or not. Perfect. Freaking perfect. <sighs> and back we go. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe there's like a way to skip that fight if if I kind of just like go through like the top side. Maybe it won't trigger. <laughs> what? Oh. Oh wait, you don't actually have to interact with the doors to go through them. You just like push into them and she goes through. Huh. Annoying, but... Huh. Okay, let's see if we can get through without a fight. <laughs> no! Fuck you if you wanted to go through this without a fight. Like, seeing as this is optional, I'm very much tempted to just not do it. We've got, like, a save from the start of the day. Which is technically just, like, 20 minutes down the drain. But, I, damn it, I, I want to keep the, the rocket launcher. That's the, the problem here. Deep breaths, deep breaths. <laughs> mm, don't really have any BP. Oh boy. Oh, no, no, no. I 
I should have gone to Chinatown and just, like ignore the, the the warehouse altogether. I mean, like technically, I could probably use like the rocket launcher here to try and like clear this fight fast, but I don't know if it's like very effective. Like I doubt it is. Like, I I I doubt it's gonna be like the Resident Evil rocket launcher, which is, like basically a like one shot fuck you kind of like button. Uh, towards enemies. Um, I mean, I could try to escape the fight. I didn't even think about that. For the raid, how was uh, Pathfinder? How how are we doing today? First of all, and how was Pathfinder? Second of all, yep, there we go. Oh boy. Fail to escape. <laughs> I was trying to get a kineticist build going, but the guy that made the build made some mistakes. Oh, okay. I have no idea what a kineticist is. <laughs> I've not played the Pathfinder games yet. Oh, so it's not possible to make it the way he wants? They just like put too many points or just like passives that you can't get or something like that? Oh, something like that. Fair enough. I mean, yeah, that that kind of sucks when it happens, unfortunately. Like, you get, like, a build, and it's kind of, like, all laid out, and you, you start, like, working into it, and then there's, like, some point halfway through the build where it doesn't work anymore, and you're trying to, like, figure out why exactly it's not working. I've, I've had that happen in, like, other games. It's like, wait, I, I can't actually get this, 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 this I, like, uh, stat or, like, this item or something. Did they patch it out? Did they... Huh. Oh, he wants to think that level 3 can only get one of them? Hmm. Yeah. Well... I, is there like a reset? Like a reset? Is there like a respec option in uh, in Pathfinder? So we could just like at least like reset the character if if it doesn't work out, and just like redo everything. Oh, there is. Okay, I mean that's good. Then then you haven't like lost the entire progress or like the save or whatever. Fuck. Can we just not? Oh wait, it's like three of these now. Oh, you made a monk instead? Oh, no, come on. No, 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 no. Why did I fuck this up now? That was the wrong heal to do. Oh. 
Please don't hit me. An effective build is where you stop playing Path of, uh, Path of Exile. I mean, yeah, that, that would probably do it for you in Path of Exile, especially if you want to do like the like the late game stuff, like run the Atlas or just like do all like the events and stuff. Um, it's like the, the the end game of Path of Exile is like brutal. Um, person who maybe stopped updating. Hmm. I mean, yeah, they, they, they are always changing a bunch of things in uh, Path of Excel, so I guess that makes sense. Yep. I mean, you don't commit to just items, though. There's, like, a, a, a lot of functionality that comes from, like, uh, um, like the, the, the skill tree. Core difficulty in Pathfinder is also brutal. Hmm. I guess. Can I just not? Oh, come on, just like fuck off and just don't box me in, can you? So the same sound you find on FF game. Yeah, I know. I kind of like said this like again. It's like very hilarious that you're playing like a horror game where you get like the the the, the plinky plunky healing sounds from Final Fantasy. <laughs> it's like, hmm, doesn't quite fit, you know. Okay, one one's dead. If, if I manage to survive until I kill, like, a second one, then we're, like, good to go. Hopefully. Like, the problem is, like, the, 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 the web that they shoot does, like, 100 damage per hit. Or, like, 100 odd damage per hit, so... You need to take a quick trip to the city now or tomorrow. I mean, kind of like depends. I usually. Fuck. Me. No. Yeah, it slows you down too. And also slows down your uh, your ATB. So y you also regenerate less. He, less parasite energy and you like get very slow <sighs> so this is like the exit right I hope victory fanfare yeah I'm, I'm not out yet so no I think there's like one more random encounter that's possible here. Yep. I can't heal outside of combat, but I just came out of a very long and annoying boss fight, partially because I fucked up my weapon by modding something that I shouldn't mod onto it, and partially because your, like, the parasite energy doesn't regenerate out of combat, like, that's, like, the, the lower red gauge. Uh, it only regenerates while you're in combat. So... Oh, I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. Okay. We're, we're out. Done. Jesus Christ. Um, 
But yeah, that, that, like the your mana or only like your your energy only regenerates out in combat. So yeah, I I have been dying here for the last thirty or forty minutes or so. Let me just like go back to NYPD and get like all of that stuff that I stashed there. God, <laughs> it was like so annoying. Can only make my run a marathon while someone's trying to kill you. I mean, yeah. It's worth noting that this was like an optional dungeon, and again, I did fuck things up by modding. Um, hold on, modding this on my gun. I thought like the the way it says that, I thought that like it, it would have like a random rate of fire, which like maybe randomly would like shoot more bullets or something. But it turns out that if you have that installed, you shoot slightly faster but um you, you you can no longer select your targets and there's like a like the, the boss fight that we fought you had to like kill the like the 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 limbs first so yeah having a gun that randomly attacks random targets is maybe not the, the best in, in 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 those situations Okay, yeah, just like, uh, no, reload the, uh, store it. I'm like so upset at this though. It, it sucks because like, that's like a good gun. I like this gun. I like this gun and it, it, I kind of like fucked it up and now there's very little chance of me kind of like fixing it. Going to the city tomorrow and buy your titty skitties? Skittles? What? What? <laughs> Do I even want to know what like a titty skittle is? No. Why did I use it? Oh. Oh! Yes. Okay. Yeah. You, you mentioned this before. I'm, I'm dumb. Sorry about that. I totally forgot about it. <laughs> oh god uh, this this thing like annoyed me so much i'm like just like bumbling right now <sighs> can i just like save and go do the story because i didn't even know that the warehouse was supposed to be like a option encounter uh i actually had to look it up on my phone cook and clean the uh, fridge i mean that's a good plan time is it anyway speaking of cooking it's still too early for dinner so the idea is to kind of like push as much as i can on this today and finish it off tomorrow so we, we can start like um code veronica on monday or oh, no tuesday because I, I i do want to kind of like finish all the games i said i was gonna play for october I mean, it's like a good start. Like, Parasite Eve was a good start so far. Aside from, like, freaking crab boss. <laughs> I really like the world map, though, by the way. It, it's, like, very interesting to look at. Like, the way it kind of, like, rotates around to select wherever it is you want to go. And, like, the 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 reflections that they've they've got going on the on the on the water are like really interesting as well oh chinatown finally like a new like music theme Because like, not, not not all doors are 
you know, doors. Some of them are like, just like background fluff. Oh boy. No, wait, regular rats. Okay, that's fine. These, these, these things are. Oh, wait, no. These are not the the, the usual ones that I fight. What the? <laughs> no. Ah. <laughs> no, I was like so happy for a moment there. Although they, they they are like decidedly easier to kill. And they do maybe like a quarter of the damage that like, the other things. Well, not even like a quarter, like the, the the little like energy things that were like shooting. They did like what? Eight damage? That's like a far cry from like the, the hundred odd damage the, the freaking spiders in the warehouse were doing. Okay. Camera angles in this are awful though. Hey, Jungle Roba. Hi, how's it going? How are we doing today? Do, 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 do. Oh, oh. Oh no. Snakes too. Oh my god, more poison. Yep. Welcome to random hell when you want to prioritize shooting something that can poison you and you, you are no longer able to. Parasite parts have evolved. Gene heal. Uses PE to slowly recover HP. Huh. Also, we did the optional area. Look at how many bonus points I got on level up. Because, like, basically how this game works, it, it kind of, like, stores bonus points from, like, everything you kill. And then it gives it to you when you level up. Regen. Yeah, it's, like, basically regen. That's like basically all of the P powers are just like the, the stable Square Enix or like Squaresoft uh, heals. So it's like heal 1, heal 2, heal 3. There's like Detox, which is like, uh, I guess, like a Suna. No, it's like just poison. Energy Shot, which is just like a Fireball, I guess. Barrier, Scan, <laughs> Slow, Confuse, Haste, and Gene Heal, which is Regen. So according to the wiki, this is like what I was just like looking on my phone. According to the wiki, we can actually find like a super tool here. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, what the? What the actual actual? Yep. What did I just get? Oh, tool. Okay. Your mother, Drogstar, forced you to buy GTA 3 by CD and San Andreas because it unleashed them in two days because of the masters coming out. Yeah. So, yeah, uh, for those of you that uh, haven't heard, um, Rockstar is coming out with like a remastered trilogy for. GTA 3, Vice City, and San Andreas, and consequently, they're delisting all of the original releases from, like, everything online. <sighs> Which is, you know, there's, like, something to, to be said there about the, like, preservation of, like, the original releases. I think I, I do have, like, GTA 3 and, uh, um... Vice City on my Xbox, like the original Xbox, but I, I really, really, really hope like they would stop doing fucking shit like that. Cause yeah, okay, in someone's mind maybe like the, the the remasters are like better, but also there's like something to be said about preserving the original editions for like you know. At least for like historical purposes, damn it! Like it's, it's it's like interesting to see. 
and then, yeah, also mods. But like even 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 if like they've, they've like shown like their disdain towards like mod makers and like there was like that DMCA thing on like the uh, uh, GTA 3 like rem uh, like remade mod thing. I, I, there was like a fan made rem re remaster or something that they DMCA or whatever. Um, even if they don't give a fuck for that, uh, like, yeah, they don't give it, like, a, a fuck about that, but they should at least give a fuck about, like, preserving their dumb history, right? If only for educational purposes. There's, like, very little, uh, um, ah, yeah, it's here. What, what, what is here? It looks like rotten meat. I'm gonna go down and have a look. No, you, you're not. There's like a chest there. Go back, go back, go back, go back. Don't give me another. Good luck, charm. Was it a reverse engineer? Yeah, I mean, exactly that. Like, and they like kind of like sued it into oblivion, right? And it wasn't like uh, for profit or, or like anything. There's like some people that really liked the GTA games and wanted to add more things to them. But anyway, it, it would have cost them nothing to have both versions up there, except, you know, maybe they, they wouldn't be as like readily able to force people to go buy them out of like FOMO or, you know, force them to buy like a more expensive version because, you know, they've remastered it. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm not a big fan of like the original editions kind of like disappearing into like thin air. God damn it. Oh wow. What the freak? Don't poison me. <sighs> oh, now I'm like blinded too? Lovely. if the PC versions had like anything over those I mean I don't know but again like I, I hate when this happens like the it's like very god fucking damn it it's like very clear that the reason that this is being done is mostly because you know they want to kind of like make people go buy the, the new editions and kind of like cut off other options off of them there's like no like anyone that actually believes that this is like done out of like some like genuine like uh I don't know. Respect over like uh, like wanting the customers to get like the best possible experience. That's not it. That's like really not it. It's just like, hey, this thing is gonna go away. Better go buy it now so we make money, and then we make more money by selling you the the, the shinier edition. But yeah, like digital preservation is something that people like corporations do not take very seriously and it's a very very dumb stance to to have also i'm pretty sure this is supposed to be like a maze and uh i'm like very tempted to go dig up a mob or something especially since it's like so dark i can't actually tell what's going on I'm just like escaping this. <sighs> oh, 
Wait, we were like still doing it? <laughs> ah, okay. It's like one of those games. So here's like the problem with like this like stupid like mod thing I put on on, on my uh, rifle. Every shot being like a random thing also means that I, I like she stops to kind of like realign her her character model with like whatever it's like she's trying to fire at. So um, it, it's also causing me to waste time while trying to uh, you know when like like all of the combat is is about like avoiding things as fast as possible. So. Just like the, the, the time I'm wasting trying to aim at some like other thing. One of those mechanics that isn't clear when you read the text. I mean, yeah, it, it would be nice if, if it was kind of like stated a bit more clearly. Because I like when I installed it, like I said, I thought it would like randomly change my like firing speed. Not that it would just like randomly pick targets and that gives me like more fire speed. So basically it is like what I installed is like this thing here because like See, ra random rate of fire. What, like, how, how am I supposed to understand that like, it's like random targets, comma, rate of fire from this tooltip? Like, when I, when I read that, I, I, what I get is like, the rate of fire is going to be random. <laughs> oh, God. So yeah, I ran off. It's like also so so dark to actually you know see what's going on you know what fuck it i'm just like gonna get like a map of the sewers this is this is not uh uh a lot of fun Because, like, what I actually want to do is, like, see where the, uh, what's it called? Um, like, the, the, the super um, thing is. There should be, like, a super tool somewhere in here. Oh, wait. There's, like, a dead end. Oh... Maybe this will make things more bearable. Actually, the super tool was like very close to the entrance to this place. <laughs> oh. Shit. Come on. Yo, oh, it was like actually, like actually worse. I just like need to remove the, the, the randomness thing from my gun. I need the ability to prioritize targets once again. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, no, my dude, no. Time to escape. Oh, it prevents... No, it doesn't prevent darkness, but... Like, look at the description for this. Cures and prevents darkness. That is like... 
patently tr untrue. This 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 prevents jack shit. This is like the <laughs> this is like the freaking Zubats from like Pokemon all over again. It's like get confused into oblivion, so that you, you you can never take any actions ever. Okay, so this corridor has the exit to Chinatown. So now we need to go one corridor to the this side. Oh, hello. And get some random sewer ammunition too. And go north in the next intersection and we get a super tool. <sighs> Please kill something. Hit something twice in a row. Thank you very much. God. So now if we take like the north exit actually have been like a lot better if if it chose like one target and hit it like however many times instead of like each shot having like a, a random chance of choosing like a different target because honestly the it, it feels to me like the ability to oh there we go this is it do i have space for it barely because i've got like all these like darkness cures that wow So this should be it. Super tool! Oh god, let me just go do that right now. There you go. Now we have a... <laughs> we have a random <laughs> grenade launcher. <laughs> that sounds safe, doesn't it? <laughs> You know, because that, that, that's, that's what you need with high-grade explosives. Being, like, hitting, like, random stuff. I'm just, like, gonna pump everything into attack here. See how much more damage this does. Because, like, it, al it already does, like, a fair bit of damage overall, like, the G3. So... <sighs> mm. Oh, it's like something here too. Come on. <laughs> Cure D. Okay, I get the point. Game is just like saying to have fun with the bots. Isn't that amazing? Like I don't know why I'm actually not like opening this on my uh, on my my second screen since I'm not, I'm not like actually using it for anything. Uh, okay, let's let, let's see if like 
the, 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 the randomness kind of like paid off. See, I'm actually just like taking each one of them out of the fight. Okay, the other one is gonna do the. No. Oh, okay, that was close. Much better. So much better. Also, I have no idea why the game gives me like so much like cure D. Cause like look at this, there's like so much. Did they like forget to put anything any anything else in like the uh, the bots loot table? <laughs> do, 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 do Ooh, medicine four. I also have been out of coffee for the last like hour or so, and that makes me very sad. <laughs> I keep looking at my mug, and I don't know, like, like is, is my brain like subconsciously expecting for it to like fill up or something? <laughs> oh no! Don't don't put me in a random encounter here. There's like a very shit area to do this. Yeah, I'm not gonna pick up any more of these. I mean, I've got probably got enough to like last me the entire dungeon. CR protector. Wait, what? HP max up, attack down. Oh, hold on a minute. Increase max HP. Active time recharges slow. Oh, it's active time, not attack. Oh, is this better than what I have? Well, no, but the one I have... Uh, yeah, I don't... Mm. I would love to get more HP, that's for sure. But on the other hand, I hate to... Um, I'd hate to just like take action slower in combat. Yeah, also another random <laughs> grenade launcher. Actually, I do have a tool, so I, I kind of want to... Let's see, where was it? You know, I can probably take the HP max from the, the CR protector and put it on the CM protector. It's like, take this install it on mine and you know go with that also maybe like add acid effect to bullets oh you know yeah okay i'm game so now we've like given acid to my bullets and also like more hp on my armor I actually like this system quite a lot. It, it's like very interesting to be able to kind of like cherry pick all, all of like the, you know, coolest passives that you, you can find on your, on, on like guns and armor and just like stack it all wherever you, you like the best. It's like, I actually really enjoy the, the comp like the, um, the gear system on the, in this game. Oh, wait. Come on. No, don't 
what? Oh, seriously? I'm, I'm not controlling it, by the way. It's like I, I approached the, the ladder from the wrong angle, so now we have to like sit through the entire like climbing animation. <sighs> God, that was dumb. Oh, come on. Here is when ladders do not give you a prompt. Yeah, I mean, it's like the like the weirdest thing here is that like, not, not, it, 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 oh, fuck. And now I've got the blind thing, darkness thing. God. Also, this is like s such a dick move of the game. Like, it, it puts you on this corridor where there is like literally no way. You, there's like no way you can actually dodge like this stupid, like, um, darkness thing. Like, who, who thought of this design? Hey, Twiken, and hi, how's it going? How are we doing today? I'm just gonna wait until... Yeah. Do that again. Stream your first stream today. Nice. Congratulations. Well, welcome to the, 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 the cool club, I guess. At least that is what I tell myself. Like, totally the cool... We're, like, totally the cool kids. Uh, what did you stream? Was it, like, Deep Rock, maybe? I streamed to Kianan. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> cool kids, cool kids. I was like, um... Uh, this is... <gasps> This is like slightly more like uh Ooh, Phoenix Rising, nice. I I've, I've not played that. That's like the, the, the Ubisoft thing, right? Um Yeah. Hold on. Let's see if I Cool kids on the blog, exactly. There you go. Since uh, you you are now one of the streamer club, I should probably do like a streamer shout out. Oh wow. That scenes? Gross. Wait, there's gonna be another boss fight, isn't there? Oh yeah! Shut me out too. Exactly. Sorry. Sorry, you, you kind of like joined at the time where I kind of like wanted to break my controller in half. <laughs> and I totally kind of like forgot my... It kind of like went from my mind. I have to get the slime out of the reservoir before it infects the whole city. But... Uh, um, you came in at the time where I was just like stuck doing the same fight over and over because the game wouldn't let me heal. Uh, and that was like an optional area to boot. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. When Watchers control stream. I mean... I would love to try that like at some point. Kid slimes. Ugh. Wait, these are like the this is like the first boss that I fought in the game. Like I'm almost certain. Also the acid is really doing like Really good against these things. Oh, CR8. Nice. Remind you a bit of Death Claws? Really? I mean Yeah, in 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 like a way, I guess. So I guess we have to do something with the valves here. 
get up to 31 AC. <laughs> Wait, it's like the um, Pathfinder uses like the D D and D rule set or like the D20. I don't know like which one. Wait, what's the point of this area? I mean, it it, it, it won't let me use any of the valves. So, was it just like to get the tool? Again, the game has most twenty. Yeah, I mean, like, is it like the like D twenty or like D and D or what's like the rule set? Oh, D twenty. Okay, so yeah, thirty one AC is like insanely high for level three. Is is that like constantly, or do you have to like turn on like a channeled ability or something? Pathfinder bought the rights to D and D three. Really, three and a half is actually the only edition that I've actually played on tabletop. I actually. Actually, give me, give, give, give me, give me just a moment. There we go. So basically, I, I I do have like the like the the entire like uh, set of like the three point five <laughs> rule set. It was like the player's handbook, the dungeon master's guide, and the monster manual. I I, I did like do like a very limited uh, dungeon mastering thing. Didn't end quite well, but you know it's like. For for my first try, I, I think it went quite well, to be honest. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's like the 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 only version of D and D that I've actually played the tabletop to. All the D and D. I mean, I've I've only ever played it for like a few months. I was like back when I was in like high school. Um, Leave it off. No, don't don't change anything yet. Until I save. Yeah. Um. I, I I was kind of like wanting to like if if that group had gone off for like a bit longer, which it didn't. I mean, we we kind of like stopped playing because you know people kind of like started like drifting apart. But I I would have loved to also get like the the the, the Planescape guide. Um. Wait, did we save? Okay. Want to look around in it? I mean, sure, I don't mind. But, uh, yeah, at some point I probably... Oh, never mind. Not this way. At some point I probably want to, like, check, like, like online platforms, like Roll20 or something like that to, you know, see if I can get into a group, like, maybe, like, once a week or something. Activate pump one. There's not enough power. Pump two. Ah. Tried fifth edition. Wait, it's up to fifth. It's up to fifth now. Wow. That's a lot. Also, jeez. Oh, Baldur's Gate 3 is based on... Okay.
Wait, this is something I'm not doing right. <clears throat> yeah, I haven't, you know. Haven't really, you know, kept up with the whole, the whole thing. <sighs> like, I remember when, like, I guess, like, fourth edition. The water is too high to cross. Um, I remember when, like, like fourth edition had come out, everyone was kind of, like, complaining that it was, like, too simplified. I'm like, dude, it, it, it used to be in, like, second edition. Like, you actually had to, like, do complex mathematical calculations in order to um, figure out how to do things like geez simplicity is good oh okay you don't divinity engine yeah i haven't played the divinity games either i'm, I'm like it's like a lot of stuff that i really need to get around to playing at some point but i've got like this backlog for like ages I've only just started getting it a bit, you know, whittled down. I, I did, like, finish, like, a couple of games over the weekend. And I'm playing, like, a lot of Satisfactory, which you might find interesting. <laughs> uh, boss? Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's gonna be, like, a boss fight here. I actually, like, spent, like, an entire evening, like, destroying my base and redoing it. So it's, like, very... <laughs> Well, not very, but like somewhat tidy. Still haven't seen the photo on Discord. <laughs> I mean, okay, it, it's not like the like the, the most tidy, because then I had to just like do like the uh, I had to like put like a bunch of assemblers to start like sending stuff up to the like the orbital elevator, but from like the huge jumble of stuff now it's just like slightly tangled conveyor belts. So you know, it, it's a lot tighter than it was, and I did also manage to set up like a supply chain with uh, like a, a truck which I was very happy to get working after like an hour of trying to program the damn thing. You should see your spaghetti. My spaghetti was not spaghetti. It was actually like a pile of spaghetti is one on top of the other. <laughs> I was like very untidy. But now I am not anymore. I kind of like destroyed the whole thing and rebuilt it from scratch. And keep in mind, that's actually my first base. I probably need to branch out to do other things. But I, I kind of had to just like get coal from outside because, you know, I like the, the starting area I landed in didn't have any coal at all. So... I haven't played Satisfactory. Aw, like the, the, the way you were talking about it, I thought you had played it. Maybe I should be tagging mana instead. <laughs> just kidding. Stagging Factorio. I haven't actually played that. I, I, I've seen like a lot of people playing it, so... I probably wouldn't want to, to start it though, considering like how much... See, it's like the thing. Satisfactory is okay as a game, but it has that like uh, that thing where I have to just, like, do one more thing, and that one more thing might take me like three or four hours without me realizing. Uh, so I would probably stay away from Factorio, seeing as to like how Satisfactory is, is, is kind of just like keeping me hooked. Yes, Factorio is Factorio, but 3D. I mean, yeah, kind of makes sense. But yeah, it's, uh, wait, what? Oh, did I just like circle around? Yeah. When I hadn't got Dyson space program instead. Mm. Fair. Yeah, I think like one crafting 
game is, in, is enough for me for now. Still, still, still trying to get the, the dumb tracks to just like go properly on autopilot. So there was like this like coal deposit like somewhere far off in the in like like maybe like a kilometer away or, or so from my base, and uh, I had to like set up like a so. If you haven't played Satisfactory, you, you can actually get tracks in the game and program them to just, like, go on their own. And um, what I've actually done is just, like, I've made, like, a depot and kind of, like, made the the, the, um, the little track kind of just, like, go from depot to depot to, like, carry coal back to the main base. And it took me hours to do that because it would just get stuck on everything the the pathfinding ai is oh boy the pathfinding ai it, it's 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 mm. bad just bad it's like the, 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 the kindest thing i can t i can, can like say about it is it's just bad <laughs> you 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 literally can just like Get it to go in a straight line, and it would still find a way to get stuck on things. So I ended up just like making like a huge construction that's kind of like platforms, so it wouldn't have to use the terrain. Cause, oh, it's like a boss. It is. Oh boy, lovely. And now I'm poisoned. Uh, detox. Okay, I think we need to do haste. Yeah, it plots down waypoints. Yeah, I mean, I know, but it, it, it still has like a very, very weird, like it, it goes like straight to like between each one and it, it, because it doesn't seem to like throttle its um, like it, it doesn't even like try to throttle its speed at all it, it, it seems to kind of like overshoot sometimes and yeah that is bad But he actually ended up making like a... What the? Oh no, come on! This is... No, now I'm like darkness? Oh wait, if they touch me, do I get like darkness? What was that? Was that why all, like, all the shitty bats were giving me cure D? This is so annoying. <laughs> you can program trains in Factorio. I mean, yeah, I, like if, if it's anything like... Uh, uh, if it's anything like uh, Satisfactory, it, it would be like very dangerous. Like I've actually, I've literally like made structures for it to go on just so that it wouldn't just like fly off a cliff or something because especially if you if you want to make them go down like inclines uh, they, they just don't know like they, they don't want to throttle their speed at all to be careful yeah i i found that out much much later <laughs> after the first couple of times when i'm like at the base and i'm like where the fuck is my truck at and then it's just like going like see it in like in, in, in like no nose dive into like a lake or something <laughs> i'm like oh come on no i have to make another one now damn it yeah i mean that's how it is in satisfactory as well you Basically, what happens is you get on the track, 
you activate record mode and it just like drops uh, waypoints like as you drive. But you, you kind of like drive and it just like drops waypoint behind uh, where you've driven. So after then, when you turn on the autopilot, it will just like try to go from waypoint to waypoint, start to finish, basically. Which I mean, it's like it's it's nice. It's like a very satisfying thing to kind of like get right, because especially with like the case of coal, it, it kind of like runs itself because coal is also used to produce energy and also to feed the actual truck that brings coal back to the base. So it's like literally kind of like a self-contained thing. Oh, there's like a bunch of things here. Wow. B protector. Oh wait, does that have protection from stun? Tool. Gives you the tools of basic logic programming. Yeah, I don't know if Satisfactory has something like that. I mean, I'm still at like tier four out of eight. So there's a lot of things that I haven't unlocked yet. There might be something like that later on. Nope. Ah, okay, fair enough. So basically, how how it works in Satisfactory is you like the the overarching kind of like gameplay loop is that you get dropped down on a planet. There's like a bunch of resources that you can get, and basically the idea is that to unlock the uh, like the crafting options, you basically have to complete what's called like the the orbital orders. Like one of the first buildings that you build is like the space elevator and what that does is it asks you to send up a bunch of very expensive materials and in return it, it unlocks research tiers um, and each research tier that you unlock gives you access to new uh, stuff to build basically Like in, in 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 my case, like I'm 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 done with like tier one, two, three, and four. So it's like halfway. There's like eight tiers, uh, and each one of those four tiers has like three or four different uh, research goals, I guess. And one might give you uh, better conveyor belts. Another might give you new factories to build or smelters or extractors or unlock trucks or whatever there's like it's kind of like gated like every 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 research that you do gives you three or four different things to play around with there's like you you, you can like there's like one that allows you to stack conveyor belts one on top of the other there's another one that has like horizontal kind of like lifts for your materials um and to unlock the research you need to send stuff up with the orbital elevator and uh, that will unlock the next research tier or three. The slime's going towards... Hey, Mammoth! Thank you for the host, I guess, or raid or something. Not quite sure. It's going towards the museum. <gasps> host. Okay, fair enough. So how, 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 how are we doing today? How was... Uh... Wait, insert this too? Uh-oh. How was uh, Red Dead? I, I I swung by for like a very, um, very like short time. Uh, I didn't really like say hi though. Wait, we're only now getting to disc two, and it's like halfway through day five. I don't I don't like this. I'm about to have big things happening. Nice. Are you about to rob a bank or something? That doesn't clutter you with more perspective. <laughs> you know, I would, I would actually... I would actually try and stream Satisfactory a bit, but I'm pretty sure it's, it's gonna, like, fry my GPU to try and stream it. Um, it's a very pretty game and also kind of graphically intensive, to be honest. Um, like... My factory has kind of like grown a little bit and now it, it, it also seems like... Um, what's it called? 
uh, it's starting to like get like small slowdowns. Can it be lurking as you fix dinner? Also, Far Cry Six, nice. Uh, uh, enjoy, uh, bon appetit, or something like that. I guess. And <laughs> en enjoy the food. But yeah, also like vertiga ver verticality plays like a big role in uh, Satisfactory, which I don't know how I feel about. I, I I don't really tend to kind of like stack things, so I, I I feel like this is gonna take some kind of like shift in my way of thinking, I guess. Even though Dyson is the same. Oh, okay. Yeah, I've not played any of those. Like, damn. Like, I, I knew there was like a big market for like crafting games, but I, I never like quite appreciated how much. Can go to other planets though. Yeah, I guess now we have to go to the museum, right? However, I'm gonna go save and kind of like empty my inventory as well. <laughs> Especially all, 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 all like the shitty useless things that I've had with like the, 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 the cures. So the mob in Satisfactory is giant, really? I, I have no idea, I, ha I have no scope. I, I did like explore a little bit and there's like certainly a lot of interesting things to look in. Um, I found like two like wreckages, I guess, where you get like hard drives to research like recipes or something. Um, and there's like a lot of things that I still don't know how to even like collect like uranium or how to go through the areas that have uh, um, like uh, those like green cloud thingies it's actually bigger than Factoria also here's like a it's like I've got like a question here since you've kind of like played a lot of uh, um, Satisfactory is is the map like randomly generated or like seeded or something because I'm, 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 I'm actually quite curious about that Reload. Or is it like a preset map that you just like randomly spawn into some location on? No, not in Satisfactory. In uh... oh, it's a static map. Yeah, okay, I figured that. Fair enough. Yeah, I thought as much. But I guess you just like get spawned in like predetermined locations. It's not always. Look at all the cures that I have. Useless. I mean, I mean not useless, but, you know, useless. <laughs> Ish. Let's, like, store one of these. Sponsor just different locations on the same map. I mean, that's kind of impressive, to be honest. Um... And like I said, there's like a bunch of things that I have no idea how to kind of like interact with. However, it's around 7 p.m. Which makes this probably a good point to stop the game. I need to check out something though. Like, I'm not sure like how far we're like from like the end game. I know like day six is the final one. Um... So I'm, I'm I'm interested to see after the museum how much more we have to go. Minecraft still bigger. I mean, yeah, but Minecraft is like procedurally generated. It's not like a static um, map, so it can get away with just like you know having like the generation algorithm run, and then everything else is kind of you know.
Okay, let's see. We were American Museum of Natural History. Uh huh. Oh, okay. So we're just like maybe like a couple of hours from the end of the game at most. So I think I'm gonna leave that for tomorrow. Just like have like a shortish stream because I'm not like finishing this today. Um, but yeah, decent progress and hopefully tomorrow we finish this. Yay! Um, like the end of day five. But yeah, uh, let me just. Uh Plug this in, it's to charge. And I'll just like go to beautiful face cam. <laughs> and also go into who the hell is live mode to go say hi. Cause it's make Yeah, I mean like first person is, is always gonna get like be like a bit skewed, depending on like you know, your distance from stuff. Which is also quite interesting that in uh, um, what's it called? In, in in satisfactory at least, there's like this, like the, the 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 orbital elevator thing makes it so much easier to actually know where you are because you can almost always see it in the distance, which I think they they made like intentionally because most other things have like a certain draw distance where you can see them. The orbital elevator, as far as I see, you can see it from like wherever, which is nice. Also, it's been a while since I had the pleasure of saying this. Let's go raid Tuma, who's doing the Brock Galactic. <laughs> and in the meantime, I'm gonna go get some food. I'll be around later on on Discord if anyone wants a chat or anything, you know, stuff. As always. And uh, yeah, have a lovely rest of the day. Dwarf game, yes, the dwarf game. Uh, that's the that's the thing space dwarf game <laughs> so yeah have a nice evening everyone and thanks for sticking around goodbye